Tanner Geisinger. I teach load securement here in Fort Dodge at Decker Truck Line, and today we're going to go over proper PPE, personal protective equipment, as well as some bungee safety tips. Standard PPE for the flatbed division consists of a hard hat, safety glasses, a high visibility safety vest, and gloves. Even if it is not required by a customer to wear them at their location, you still should as the hard hat will prevent a possible head injury that could have life-threatening and lifelong repercussions, as well as the safety glasses, though they can sometimes be a nuisance with fogging, are a much better alternative to losing an eye. Always remember, if you have a bungee that is damaged in any way, do not use it. It is not worth the risk to you to try get another one. And when it comes to bungee safety, you always want to be inspecting your bungee cords thoroughly before using them. This one here looks fine if you're just looking at it, but once you start to stretch it, you will see dry rotting and cracking that's just waiting to snap on you. So this would be a bungee that needs to be set aside so it can be returned and exchange for a good one that will not risk hurting you. When I talk about overstretching a bungee, you want to use this lower set, the lowest set of D-rings possible. Because as you'll see, if I take this bungee cord and move it up to a higher row and try to bring it down, I'm not going to get it. And if I pull farther, all I'm going to do is put added strain and risk that bungee cord snapping coming back at me. When you're putting bungees on or taking them off, you never want to pull the bungee in the direction of your face. Just in case it were to snap, you don't want it hitting you here. This is where a lot of things that are not replaceable are located. So, I'm going to hook it here, and then to attach it, I'm going to come like this and hook it like this with my back to it. This way, if it does snap, it's going to hit me in the back. Granted, it's still going to hurt, but it's not going to risk hitting you in the eyes, knocking out a tooth, anything of that, nat that nature that could cause lifelong problems for you. He said, just to undo it, give it a pull like that, and resecuring, same thing. With your back to it, hook it to the trailer. We always want the D-ring or the bungees threaded through the D-ring and the hooks hooked to the trailer because this is going to avoid damage to our tarps. You see, as you can see, we can do that on this tarp with no problem whatsoever. And if I come over to my steel tarp, even when the D-rings are located clear down at the edge of the rub rail, I am still able to thread my bungee cord through my D-ring and attach it to my hooks, hook points without hooking to the D-ring and I still have a nice tight tarp. So it is able to be done down low or up a little higher with no trouble whatsoever. The reason why we are insisting that the bungees be threaded through the D-rings and not hooked to them is for example right here this driver did hook them facing out, but even facing out, the back side of the D-ring, or back side of the hook is cutting into the tarp right there. That will cause a hole, which will cause a leak. And a leaking tarp is pretty much a worthless tarp. The proper way to attach the bungees is to run them through the D-ring, bring them back down, and attach them to the rub rail. So the hooks are attached to the trailer, not to the D-ring where it could put a hole in the tarp causing damage. Easy way to store your bungees, once you've gotten them taken off your load, take a single bungee, hook the two hooks to the side of the trailer, just like so. Take the rest like this, bring that loop around, feed the two hooks through, pull down, 
Now your bungees will stay neat and organized and not get all wound up and tied into each other. Now they're ready to be hung up in your vault. Once you've gotten your bungees bundled up after you've taken them off your load, they are not to be hung on your steps, on your APU unit. They are not to be hung on the outside of the trailer. They are to be taken. You can either hang them from the top shelf like so, or on this side of your vault, in the chain compartment, there are three rails welded in that are perfect locations to hang those bungees as well. They need to be kept inside to keep them out of the weather so that they don't weather check and dry rot because that is the biggest enemy of rubber is the sun and moisture. So we keep them in here out of the sun and keep them where it's dry when we're not using them and they will last exponentially longer. Your lumber tarps, properly folded, need to be strapped and secured down to the front of the deck of your trailer. Your steel tarps need to be properly folded and stored in the headache rack of your truck. Properly folded, you can fit both of your steel tarps inside your headache rack. There is never a justifiable excuse for them to be placed up here. Nothing is to be placed on top of the vault. Everything can go inside. Do it right.